bread review number two. Here we got the bagel. Circular, got a hole in it. It's like a donut, but not as good. Now the way most people eat their bagels is they'll cut them in half. Then they'll put whatever they want on them. Now, you can toast a bagel, but you can't put too much on the bagel. Now, out of squishiness, I would rate this a 3 or a 2. It's not too squishy, but that's okay. Now, one of the most common things you can put on the bagel is uh, cream cheese. Or at least, yeah, cream cheese, that's what it's called. I like to put a little extra on because I like it. Tastes nice. Now you want to get a nice even layer on your uh, bagel here. It smells good, like it's not too good. Now in the last video, uh, the regular bread, I would put that at about like put it about at a 5 actually no it'll be like a pH scale so you got your good breads your bad breads and then your like baseline bread so regular the 100% whole wheat <clears throat> that'll be like the water of this uh, bread pH scale and now we're going to see if this uh, bagel is an acid or the other thing on the pH scale Acid being bad, the other thing on the pH scale being good. So here we got our bagel. Alright, so it's really easy to sink your teeth into this thing. It tastes good. It's, uh... It's not too great. I would put it at about a 6 out of 10 on our little pH scale. Actually, no. So we'll have regular bread being 0, or just the whole wheat bread being 0. Then we'll have negative 10s, negative 1 to 10 being bad. Then we'll have positive 1 to 10 being good. I would put this at a positive 3. Yeah, definitely a 3. It's okay if you put the bread and if you put the uh, cream cheese and stuff on it. It's okay. It's good too. Um, I don't really like it toasted. This isn't toasted. I might try it toasted though. And that's bread review day two.